Hey, aloha everyone. So in my last video, I showed a part of my neighborhood that mostly survived the Lahaina fire. Since then, I've been given some additional footage from other people that shows the surrounding area that was mostly destroyed. This is an area that I walk through from my house just about every day, and it's hard for even me to recognize what was essentially my backyard. So I'm also gonna use Google Street View to try to give you a little perspective on how these areas looked before the fire. Let's take a look and keep in mind that not all of this footage was mine, so it's a little shaky. So we're gonna start in an area that I walk through pretty much every day to head to the beach. This footage is one row of houses in from Baby Beach in Lahaina. This area is also right behind the Lahaina Jodo Mission, which is a Japanese-style Buddhist temple. Most people recognize that as a pretty prominent landmark. So notice the round poles to the left of the screen here. I believe that was a carport. And you will see when we go to the Google Street View, something that looks very similar and gives you a good perspective on exactly where we're standing now. If you're curious, the names of the streets here, we're standing on Halipaka Place right now, uh, looking towards the ocean and walking towards Pu'anoa Place. Okay, so the stop sign we're walking up on now is the intersection of Pu'anoa Place and Halipaka Place. As you spin to the right here, we're going to be looking at one of the beach access paths to Baby Beach. This was a popular path for people coming from my neighborhood to access the beach. Okay, so now let's compare what we just saw to what it looks like on Google Earth. Is that the same van that we saw in the beginning of the previous clip? Also, notice the rounded carport that I had pointed out in the previous video. From here, we're gonna scroll down Halipaka Place, taking essentially the same path that was shown in the video. Okay, so this is Baby Beach, just off of Front Street, looking towards Kanapali now, and swinging towards the south side. This is what the beach looks like after the fire. You can see some trees down. Behind this fence is the old Lahaina Jodo Mission, the Buddhist temple. There's the cemetery. You can see those historical temple buildings did burn down. But the Buddha is still standing. Okay, so again we're back to Google Street View to see what this area looked like before the fire. 
Now this isn't the exact same location as where the video was taken from, but it's pretty close and gives you a good idea of what it looked like before. Okay, so here's another clip starting essentially from right next to my house in Kahoma Village, crossing Kanui Street and headed into the Front Street Apartments. As I had pointed out in my previous video, pretty much the entire surrounding area from my neighborhood was completely destroyed. And this is conclusive video evidence that that is the truth. From here, the person taking the video turned around and started heading back towards my house at Coma Village. At the end of this video, you'll actually see exactly where my house is in relation to this neighborhood. So I just want to share that it is not my intention to stir controversy with my videos. My goal is to bring awareness to what is actually happening on Maui here on the ground. My last video sparked a heated debate about how the fire started and has over 400,000 views and nearly 6,000 comments. If everyone that viewed that video donated just $10 to the families impacted by the fire, we'd be raising $4 million. To be clear, I am not collecting donations myself, but I will be providing links to a few reputable charities in the description below. It doesn't matter if you're donating $1 or $10,000, every little bit helps.